bring in uh, Afia Hagen and Pete Price to have a quick look through what we've got. <laughs> Pete, I love how you do that. You're always changing your shirt. Lovely stuff. All right, let's uh, crack through it. We've got loads of time. I want to get through these if we can. Um, Pete, let's start with you. Front page of the Daily Express. Uh, the headline there, BBC faces revolt if licence fee rises. What's that about? Indeed, the Silver Voice uh, campaign uh, has decided that enough is enough. If the license goes up, uh, there's going to be a revolution in this country. And apparently a lot of over 75s do not pay uh, their license fee. Um, the fees are costing more than a week's basic state pension to a lot of people. And really, I do believe that um, they should give the licence fee to people over uh, 75 because they've worked all their life uh, in this country and they've had a bad time over money and pensions. By the way, there's mine, ready to post uh, after the show today. So I'm paying my licence fee. So I'm one of the honest ones. But, Good. you know, it, it is crazy and it is a minefield and will they get rid of the BBC's license fee and make them go commercial? We do not know but right no. now it's too expensive give the over 75s I think a free it, license I think as the paper says on its front page well, it is scrapped for most over 75 so let's uh, see how that plays out. Afia let's look at this story you picked on the front of the Mirror uh, and this is a, a campaign that was run, Mirror said it's their campaign uh, but a lot of politicians got behind it as well of course about trying to ban the import of uh, trophies or the heads and body parts of animals that people have killed. Absolutely. The Mirror have long been spearheading this campaign to ban uh, the import or the bringing back of uh, trophies, as you call them, body parts that are a result of killing wild animals in game resorts, uh, usually in southern Africa. And I'm sure we can all remember the case of Cecil the lion, uh, who was shot by a US dentist in 2015. And that was kind of one of the catalysts of this campaign. So basically, uh, there was a private member's bill that has gone through Parliament and is now at the House of Lords, and that prevents the import of any of these uh, trophies. So you have people who go to places uh, in South Africa Africa. They say that the, the money that they pay to hunt these animals goes towards conservation, which is a pretty dubious claim. And then they can bring that the, the heads and the body parts, you know, hang them up in their houses as you know a sort of pride piece. But that has now been banned, uh, and so there should be no more of going. Uh, to South Africa to kill these beautiful animals and have their heads hung up on your walls that has been banned, thank goodness. Yeah, and Pete, you're shaking your head. I won't get you to comment on that, but I'll take by the shake of the head that you are fully behind the decision to make that ban legal. All right, let's, uh, let's go on. Yeah, I mean, it's... Can't understand mentality of people. It is hard to understand sometimes. All right, let's move to the inside page, and this is one we, I think we can all agree on, and this is inside pages of the eye, and <laughs> Pete, you're loving this one. And I am too. At the age of 26, children finally agree that mummy knows best. Mummy's always known best. They are the best people in the world. It's Mother's Day tomorrow. To everyone that's still got their mum, look after your mum. My mum said to me, get a proper job before you go into show business. I went into hairdressing, catering, then found I could do a job without smelling of chips, and here I am today. But mums do know best. <laughs> I'm glad your mum gave you that strong advice to have a, a varied career, Pete. And, and Afwa, I mean, it, as, as Pete said, it is Mother's Day tomorrow, so a shout out to all the mums. I'll do that again tomorrow on Mother's Day. This day, but um, it is interesting to see that it takes until people are 26 to finally realise. I guess that's just maturity, right? Yes, I think it is certainly. I mean, my daughter's 11. I'm not sure if she's ever going to say that I know best. But I thought the best bit actually in this article was where it said that people are around, or women are around 30 when they say they start turning into their mother. And I must admit that I, I remember very clearly the day that I realized I was absolutely turning into my mom, even though I said I never would. But shout out, mom, I know you're you're watching. Good morning. So, if I just ask you, Afia, uh, uh, what's turning into your mom mean? Is that a bad thing? No, it's not a bad thing, but I remember, like, I say all her phrases, I do all the things she used to do, and I'm just like, oh my gosh, I just have completely turned into my mother, and my brother and my dad absolutely agreed. Imitation. Like, doing this for years. Imitation is the sincerest form of flattery, I fear, so your mum will be very, very proud of you. All right, let's move on quickly then to the to the next story, and it's a bit more serious now, but um, let's take a look at this. This is one you picked out, I fear. This is page four of The Guardian about the dangers of vaping, and anyone that's been anywhere and seen mm -hmm. sort of teenagers around, they're all at it. 
Yeah, absolutely. And some really shocking statistics um, in this piece, actually. Um, at the moment, it says that vaping uh, is ha having some real growth um, around 11 to 15 year olds with 9% of them using e-cigarettes, up 6% from 2018, and 18% of 15-year-olds vaping. And if, it, if the rapid growth in vaping amongst the under 18s continues in the way that it's going, in five years, nearly all children under the age of 18 will be vaping, which is absolutely shocking to me. Research also shows that um, a lot of these kids did not smoke beforehand, so they're just taking up vaping because it's seen as trendy. But let's remember that some of these vapes do have nicotine in them, yeah. and they also have chemicals and substances in them that we don't know the effects on the lungs and other parts of the body because they just haven't been around that for that well, long, and uh, the research hasn't been done. Yeah, we have to leave it there for you, Pete. Thank you. But that is the point, is that we haven't had these things around for long enough, so we don't know what the damage they may be causing. All right, plenty more to come from us uh, in the next hour on Sky News.